What a genius idea, tum yum omelet. Think of all the ingredients in a tum yum soup, all those aromatics. Lovely chicken skin right here. What I love about this spot is that it's a real local favorite, nighttime only spot. Welcome to Hot Guy. It is located in the southern region of Thailand. Yep, it's the largest city in South Thailand and it's quite diverse too. We have a large Chinese community, large Muslim community, and it's a really cool city with a lot of delicious food. I'm gonna take you to some of the must-eat spots here in Hat Yai. There's plenty. We have a handful of delicious places you can't miss when you come to Hat Yai. Don't miss it and uh, let's go. Tuck in this alleyway is our favorite, favorite Thai Chinese restaurant. It is an old school restaurant. Like an, it has an old school charm to it. So let's go. We're here at Nairu. It actually translates to in a hole. And it makes sense because this classic Thai Chinese restaurant here in Hat Yai is located in an alleyway. It's really a hole in the wall spot. Like it's very classic, low key. I feel like we're eating in somebody's home. I love it. I love the feel of this place. I've been here for many years. Probably hasn't changed a bit since it opened. You have a walk in the front, you have a little kitchen in the back and they have a few dishes they specialize in. We ordered a bunch. One of them is this beautiful fried pomfret fish topped in all this minced fried garlic and chili. This is insane how much garlic is on this fish. I'm just gonna dig into this fried pomfret. It's very crispy. Just covered in garlic. This thing is just, the fish is buried underneath all this minced garlic and chili, but happened to get a nice piece right here. Mm. The garlic is really strong, very sharp flavor, but what I like about the fish, the fish is so fresh. It's got the crispy exterior, but still juicy inside. And you balance that with that garlic and that chili, it's just such a delicious. Not as heavy as you would think for a fried fish. The top of cilantro. Is, you can see why this is a must order here. And it's also a showstopper, just looking at it. Just seeing it covered in all that garlic is really cool. If you're a garlic lover like me, this is the fish you gotta get. We also have the fried bamboo shoot spring roll. This bamboo shoot spring roll. Mm. They fried this spring roll really good. Crispy on the outside, soft and chewy on the inside. You thought there's gonna be meat in here. A vegetarian spring roll, basically. Love this spring roll. This is the one I think I'm most intrigued about, is this tom yum omelet. What a genius idea, tom yum omelet. Like think of all the ingredients in a tom yum soup, all those aromatics, but in an omelet. Like I can see all this lemongrass and lime leaf already. I, oh. I think we're gonna have to go with this tom yum omelet first. It smells absolutely incredible. The interesting thing about this omelet, it's actually shaped almost like a pie. Like it actually looks pretty sturdy on the top. It's browned, but it's like shaped like a pie. It's really interesting. And inside we have all these aromatics. All right, I can't even talk about it anymore, I gotta take a bite. 
ขาใส่ไม่ต้องใส่แค่ไหนก็พุ่งพาพุ่งพาออกมาเลยเหมือนกัน First bite already. I'm gonna boldly declare best omelet I've ever eaten in my life. I love these kind of flavors: the lime leaf, lemongrass, chili. Just even a little bit of fish sauce. Too a little bit of sourness in here. There's some minced pork. It is incredible. This is the most flavor-packed omelet I think you're ever gonna eat in your life. Part of the episode where you buy us a coffee, we do the walking and the drinking. Thanks to you right here down below for making this even more possible. Now help us support more local shops like this one by buying us a coffee. Thank you. Today we're actually not gonna have a coffee for this one. We're actually gonna have something totally different. We are at a spot that's really cool. It's actually a truck called the Coffee Car. I just love it. It's like the entrepreneurial spirit here in Thailand is incredible. Like you find these little coffee shops outside of pharmacies on the street, and in this case, a truck. It's just such a cool spot. They do coffee, tea, other things. You can even get it hot, cold, or smoothie. So speaking of that, we got a chai yen or a Thai iced tea shake. Blended with the ice, so you have the Thai tea. She puts it into the espresso machine. It spits out the tea. She mixes it in with the evaporated milk, sweet condensed. Mix, blends it with the ice. Oh. So refreshing. So this is open every day except Sunday until five or six p.m. And it's located on this like low-key side street with a lot of these old houses around, and right next to the big Robinsons shopping plaza and train station. Right here in Hot Yai, such a gem. This chai and shake is so refreshing, especially late in the day like this, where you don't want too much caffeine. Here to eat the most famous dish here in Hot Yai. It even has its own. It's called Hot Yai Fried Chicken. So in Thai they call it Kai Tod. That's fried chicken. And we're here to stall outside the famous Kim Yong Market here in Hot Yai. It's a bustling street. A lot of vendors, street food, flowers, fruits, veggies, you name it. And the stall here is called Kai Tod Mina. And this one looks incredible. We got it with the sticky rice, fried onions. The fried onions also come with fried garlic. That's one of the ways you can get it, or you get it with biryani. But love it with the sticky rice. We ordered a whole bunch of the chicken. We actually picked it out first, and they put it back in the fryer, so it's extra brown and crispy. She topped it off with more fried onions and garlic. Oh, man. We also got this lovely chicken skin right here. I'm actually gonna start with the chicken skin first. It's calling my name. Mm. It's so light and crispy. I love it. It's not greasy either. Mm. Now I gotta try a bite of this fried chicken. It looks beautiful. It just, it's got that crisp on the outside. Oh, it smells incredible. Mm. Oh, man. We're gonna taste garlicky. It's very juicy, crispy on the outside, but it's still quite juicy inside. I'm gonna tell you right here, this is the best fried chicken I've had at Hot Yai. I've tried a lot of it already during our stay, but this is number one. 
So what you gotta do is you gotta take this chicken. You gotta do is take some of this chicken. Take a little skin, take a little meat. Some of that sticky rice with the fried onions. Put it into a plump just like that. Special thing to note about this fried chicken is that it's halal, so everyone can eat this chicken. And if you always wanted to try chicharron, like you know, fried pork skin, you can have a halal version here with the chicken skin. And you know what? I think it's just as good. Mm. One of the many things that you can't miss food-wise when you visit Hat Yai are dim sum. There are many of them here. This is just one of the few, and apparently it's the most famous one. They've been closed for a long time because of COVID, but right now they're open. So we're so excited, let's go. This spot is called Chakti Dim Sum here in Hat Yai. A very famous place. They have multiple locations. We're at the original. Dim Sum is often just a breakfast meal, but here you can actually come for dinner, and that's what we're here for. It's so open from 6 a.m. to noon, and it's also open from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. So we're here in that nighttime shift, and we're excited. Some really nice options here. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Park out. Very nice hargao with that shrimp filling. Very strong sesame oil flavor, which I love. And if you, if you saw our video in Trang, another famous city here in South Thailand for dim sum, put a card up if you wanna check that out. The selection here is very different than that. This one's a lot closer to, say, classic dim sum we had in Hong Kong and New York City at Chinese places. Um, I like the variety here. I love that the hargao here has that sesame oil taste. Another classic that we missed out on we're in Trang, they didn't have it, chicken feet. And it comes with shredded ginger too. Wow. Mm. That is insanely soft. Unique taste on this one. This tastes very different than the other chicken feet we've had at Dim Sum before. I love how tender it is, but that sharpness of that ginger gives it that nice spice and refreshing kick to it. Really sharp, I love that. And of course, when you're a dim sum, you gotta have that Chinese tea. They give you a pot here. Cheers, Chinese tea cheers. Ooh. No better pairing with dim sum than Chinese tea. It's a moment I've been waiting for bakute comes in this steaming clay pot. It comes a bunch of different pork pieces. You have a huge slab of pork belly, which is crazy. And there's the dark broth. Filled with mushrooms. Two different types of mushrooms too. The thin ones, like they're the enoki mushroom and you also have the thicker mushroom. Bakute, the most important, you know, meat bone tea, the tea, the broth. Mm, has that really nice star anise, cinnamon, clove, five spice aroma. Mm. Now, even though you do have that five spice, you know, the cinnamon, star anise, clove, all that good stuff, but you really get that mushroom flavor. That mushroom flavor has really permeated this broth very strongly, almost where it's like a 50 50 split of that five spice and a mushroom, even maybe even leaning more towards the mushroom. I love it. If you're a mushroom fan, if you like that umami mushroom flavor, this is your kind of broth. So that I can just drink the broth by itself, but luckily we have all these goodies in here. Mm. Like this massive slab of pork belly. It's really nice. Really rich shiitake mushroom. That, that shiitake mushroom flavor is really rubbed off on that broth. And the big chunk of it is so delicious. Oh, 
the pork is almost a bonus in this. I like the pork in it, but I almost would, wouldn't even mind having this just with the mushrooms and that broth. You can see why Chakti is such a famous spot here in Hai. Ha it definitely lives up to the hype and then more. You may have to come back and eat here again. That's how good it is. And for dessert, we are here at Pa'ad or Ant Ad Fresh Milk. We have this steam bread and kaya just sold with some evaporated milk. I love about this spot is that it's a real local favorite, nighttime only spot. It's located right next to the Hadiai Hakka Association. It's like a temple here. And this, this place is always full. It's just a lot of young people here. And this is the thing to get. So it's fresh milk. You can order fresh milk here. We didn't get that. We actually got milk tea and uh, the steamed bread. Follow my name. Soak it up with that. Sankaya. That's what's called here in Thailand is Sankaya. It's the pandan custard. So not only is that steamed bread nice and warm, it soaks up the sankaya like a sponge. And the sankaya itself, this pandan custard, is also warm. This is a perfect just nighttime. I can imagine just coming here at 11 o'clock at night after going out for a while, coming here and having this at the end of the night. It opens up around about five or six o'clock. You see why it's so popular? It's just this is such a simple dessert and just so good. It's so refreshing when you get it without sugar. Just that milk and that tea flavor counteracts the sweet pandan custard with the bread perfectly. Definitely recommend getting this to go with it without sugar.